This is New Year's Eve, part four of the New Year's at Big Mama Flossie's. There has been such conversation inside of the kitchen, all the gossip going on on this New Year's Eve. We're going to bring in 2021, right, y'all? The conversations when things get real on New Year's Eve at Big Mama's Flossie's house. So what you trying to say, Reverend? I'm trying to give you a little bit of time, you know, so you can... I give you plenty of time. I don't understand why I'm even trying to give you even more time. More time for what, Reverend? Flossie, we're going to talk about this in private, okay? Well, whatever. <laughs> you better hurry up, because you ain't getting no smooches. Well, Flossie, come on now. What? We're going to talk about it later, I promise, okay? Mm. All right, whatever. Anyway, so what's going on, ladies? What's happening over here? What's happening? Well, we got a nice turkey right here. And Pearlene made sure that it is seasoned to perfection. All right, Pearlene. I see that good old seasoning over there. Let's get a little close shot of this. Oh, look at that there. Look at that. Yeah, it's some real seasoning on there. I think it's some Lowry's or something. Well, it could be a little bit of Lowry's, but it's a little bit of extra seasoning anyway. You know, the big thing tastes good. You know, a little Cajun seasoning. That's how Big Mama do it. You know how Mama, you know. I know exactly how you do it, Big Mama. I just love, love, love your turkey. Your turkey's always the juiciest, and this is so delicious. I just can't wait to get the piece of the drumstick. I want the wing. Now, I want the wing. You just said you want the drumstick. Well, I'll take the wing and the drumstick. All right, children. Okay, y'all y'all cut that out now. Okay, okay. But anyway, um, let me go over here and check on Marlo. Okay, you guys uh, go ahead and hold down the kitchen front. I'm going to get away from uh, the kitchen. It's a little bit hot in here. Hmm. <sighs> so, you think Flossie's really mad about the Reverend? Yeah, I think she's a little bit upset. <laughs> Look at the Reverend standing over there looking kind of lost. <sighs> Well, whatever. That's not our problem. <laughs> I'm going to dig down and find out more about that, Reverend. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah, I think that I'm going to go in the living room and see about Marlo, too. I think I kind of feel sorry for her. You guys should really think about, you know, being a little nicer for 2021. What do you mean, Reverend? She sounded horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm just saying, you know, she's just really thinks she can really sing. And we can't, you know, crush her dreams and her spirits by being too honest. Reverend, you are a member of the church. You are a preacher of the church. And for you to say that we tell a little white lie, how dare you? Yeah, that's wrong. Well, I'm not saying a little white lie. I'm just saying, you know, things can hurt people's feelings sometimes. And Marlo, she has been really trying really hard to really sing for all of us. She's been doing that oh, for as long as I've known Marlo. You know what I mean? So we can't be so mean, you know, bringing the New Year's happy with joyous and conversations that is positive. Let's talk about, how about we talk about 2021 future goals? Oh, <laughs> talking about that, Reverend, <laughs> cat's got your tongue. Hmm, you can't even propose to the what, what What's going on with you? Well, uh, yeah, what's going on with you, Reverend? Yeah, I want to know. Are you really serious about my friend Flossie? Well, I am very serious about Flossie. You know, me and Flossie has an understanding. You know, we have a lot of things that we're dealing with. You know, we deal with a lot of business together. We also like the same things. You know, this is some things that we got to work on to make things perfect. And it's going to be all right. You know, it's going to take a little bit of time. But that's what courting is all about. Mm -hmm. I know about courting. Mm -hmm. Having her tied up all these years. I mean, really, Reverend. Come on. Come on, Reverend. Really? Really? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, Reverend, let me ask you something. Let me get down right to the point, okay? My friend Flossie really loves you, okay? She's loved you for a long time. She has put her relationships on the back burner. She sure has. Yes, she has. Yeah, y'all need to figure out something. You know what, Lena? Why don't you guys go watch some cartoons? I don't want to watch no cartoons. This is better. This is reality. This is a reality show. Hmm, you know how to put this on TV. Yeah, me too. This is really good. Uh, Jordan, hush your mouth. Well, what I'm saying is I love Flossie very much. And she knows that, Oprah. And you know what? I'm glad that you are here for the holidays. We're going to turn it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, look at you yawning. Mm -hmm. I bet you are tired, huh? You're going to try to run out of here without proposing to Flossie, aren't you? No, 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 no. I, oh, really? You're going to propose her? So you're going to do it? Uh-huh. You're going to do it? Uh-huh. Well, no, no. I'm not doing it in front of you guys. If I do plan on doing it and proposing to Flossie, I really need 
privacy. You know what I mean? It's like a private moment. It shouldn't be in front of the congregation of the church and it shouldn't be, you know, around the family. This is something I want to do in private. That's just my personality. That's just how I am and who I am. I just rather do it like that. You know what, Reverend? You really need to really figure out. Flossie really loves you. She sure does, Reverend. You really need to figure it out, okay? Because you you basically wasted all her four years. You know what I mean? It's going on four years. 2021 is four years. That's a long time to have no commitment. Well, I already know what I'm going to do and what I'm going to say. And when I'm ready, I'm going to say it, okay? That's what how it goes. That's just how it is. <laughs> Cat's got his tongue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna turn up the fire on this back burner. Mm-hmm. I'm not playing that. I'm gonna find out the real about that, Reverend. Oh, yes, I am. Hmm. I ought to do a TV segment on this. You know what? I think I'm gonna open up Harpo's Production Studios again, and I'm gonna do some segments on. We don't get down to this, Reverend. Okay? I don't trust him. You don't? No, I really don't. And this is ridiculous because I know for a fact. I know Flossie loves him and he needs to show her the same respect back. And if he doesn't, he's got to go. He got to go. It's 2021. And right now I'm telling you guys and all you guys, you guys know what I'm going to say. You got a car and you got a car and you guys got a car. Really? We get a car? We went through this so many. No, <laughs> not. Anyway, you guys are funny, but you guys should know me better than that. Auntie Oprah is not going to give nobody a car, okay? All right. Oprah, you're so silly. I'm not. I'm just enjoying my life, my retirement life. My life is so beautiful, and I love all of you guys. But we're going to figure out something for, you know, uh, your uh, big mama Flossie. So we're going to figure it out. And I'm going to figure out that reverend, too. Ooh, I'm up here yawning. Ooh, I got to stay up here till midnight because we got to count down. Ooh. Yeah, I know. You know what? <laughs> but anyway, I really appreciate you, Oprah, for being here because you've been cutting right to the chase. Sometimes me, Gertie, and, you know, Muriel, we just don't have the guts to really go in and say and tell her, you know, hey, you know, the reverend's pulling your tongue. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I'm not playing that game no more. <laughs> I'm Oprah, and I'm not playing that game. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, you guys. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh-uh, Pearlene, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh-uh, no, she didn't. Oh, that was disgusting, and it was around the turkey, too. Oh, that was disgusting. You know what? <laughs> Pearlene needs to stop eating Big Mama's jams, you know what I'm saying? Pearlene, Pearlene, what are you doing? Is you, are you over there doing that? What? I'm sorry, Flossie, I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, my goodness, what is wrong with you? That is just so embarrassing. That is just so embarrassing. Oh my goodness. I know I hear you. <laughs>